Hey everybody, it's me Gayla, back with another thrift haul, and this one's a little bit bigger than the ones I've been having lately, so I hope you'll stick around and see what I found. Uh, went to just the two stores in my town again, but I found a lot more. Alright, let's start with America's Thrift Store. Uh, let's see here, okay. I found been more interested in like housewares and linens. I've been finding a lot of linens lately, um, which is kind of cool. You know, I love to find older ones, but I got this vintage sheet set. It's just the flat sheet and the pillowcase, but look at this print. I don't know what size it is. Um, if it doesn't fit my bed, or my kids' beds, then, um, it says twin, so maybe I'll use it in my daughter's room. That would be cool, but I just couldn't, I couldn't leave this behind. I don't know. I thought that was cool. Okay, and I found a couple of, um, things of baby clothing, because I don't have any little babies anymore, but I have a whole lot of dolls, so I still enjoy shopping the baby clothes because I'd like to find some stuff for my dolls. Um, I have a baby Chrissy and then I also have a Kissy doll by Ideal. They're a little bit bigger so I'm hoping that these might fit them. Um, I got two sweet little dresses here. So this one's from The Gap. It's not vintage but it has a very vintage look to it. Very eastery. It kind of reminds me of the, the Nico wafers. Um, that you can get at Cracker Barrel, you know, the candy. Um, and then I thought this one was adorable. It's like a little pink. And I think this might have been a two-piece, but I think this would be fine as a dress by itself. And I'm hoping that this fits Kissy because that would be really sweet on her. Um, maybe it'll fit my soft sculpture cabbage patch. I don't know. Those are my bigger dolls, so. Most dolls can fit preemie. Some, several can fit newborn. So it just has it's kind of a trial and error thing, and I may be able to modify them a little bit. I don't have a sewing machine, but you know I can sew a little. I'm not great at it, but you know I can mend things. Okay, and then I found a couple of dolls. The first one, um, it's not Rainbow High. I think it's just Slime Surprise. You know the predecessor to Rainbow High. I found this lovely girl, and you know I have the unicorns. And the llama. They're in the shelf over there. Um, I just, I don't know. I've been more interested in like bigger dolls lately. But I really like how she has tattoos and all the different colors in her hair. Needs a wash, but she's got her clothes. She doesn't have shoes. I might change her clothes. I'm not crazy about these. I wonder if this would fit my, um, nah, my Shibajuku girls are smaller than this, but still. I thought she was pretty. So I picked her up and then I was very excited to find a Blythe. Which this is not a real Blythe, but still. At the thrift store. This is like um, maybe one of those AliExpress Blythes. Her head is very loose. Um, let's see. Eyes work though. I don't know about her clothes here. I guess they were hers. She's got little knee socks, so that's cool. Maybe I'll just change her skirt to something that's more my style. But yeah, Blythe at the thrift store. You can't beat that. So now I'll have two. Um, and she has pink hair, my very favorite color. Okay, I think that's it for American thrift store. Next up is the Goodwill. Which day did I go first? Okay. I found these beautiful, it's, um, I want to say it's a dust ruffle uh, or a bed skirt down here in Mississippi. My granny always called it a dust ruffle, so that's, that's what I know it as. Um, yeah, it's this like beautiful, almost like a tool. This feels more like maybe a nylon in this baby blue. I really want to paint my bedroom furniture chalk white. And then do baby blue and baby pink. So it's kind of like 
Cinderella colors, you know, like Cinderella's castle. I think that would be really beautiful. And I also found this little mermaid sheet. Now it's not perfect. I can see a couple of little holes right here. And it's a fitted sheet. So I thought, you know, just for the fabric. I mean, people seek these out. You know, I figured I could do something with it. If it's too flawed to use, then I've got a whole bunch of awesome vintage material here. So, let's see. Maybe a, a couple of bucks? A couple of dollars? My Goodwill, um, they're kind of all over the place. $2.59. Can't beat it. You can't beat it. And the, um, dust ruffle is two pieces, and they were... Six dollars a piece, but that was the color of the week, so it was six dollars for the pair. Okay. Another piece of baby clothing, because obviously I have a problem. It's a Harley Davidson onesie. I don't know who this will fit. If I, um, if it doesn't fit any of my dolls, maybe I'll put it in my Mercari shop. Somebody will want that. I didn't want to leave it. And the baby clothes are generally pretty cheap, like three dollars or less, so. Okay, and then I picked up one, two, three baby dolls because I have a Tiny Tears that needs a body. My Tiny Tears has a rubber body. I have a couple of them. And this one in particular, I was patching and sanding and patching and sanding, like trying to save this rubber body. And I mean, this, this is very, like, before dolls were made from vinyl, it's just deteriorating. And I'm in a very humid climate. That's not favorable to these old dolls. So unfortunately, her body just kept getting worse and worse. And as I would repair it, I would damage it somewhere else trying to make a repair. So these babies here are possibly going to be body donors for my tiny tears. I just have to see if it works or not. So I'll let you know. I'll keep you updated. But that's why I purchased those. Um, I think they were $2 a piece. So hopefully... If I can get just one of them to work, it's worth it because I don't want to, if I buy another Tiny Tears, odds are the body is going to be just as bad. Um, and if not, if the body's good, then the head will probably be good. And I'm not going to take a perfectly good head and throw it in the trash just to save the head that I have. So I hope that makes sense. I don't like to waste things. Okay. And then, um, a couple of beanies. I got this cat pounce, maybe a Burmese, I'm not sure, but I don't think I had that one. And then I picked up the teeny beanie spunky for my daughter. She likes the teeny beanie, so I get those for her. I found a Donkey Kong plush. I got that for Towns, my oldest. I'm going to put that in his Easter basket after I wash it. And then I found a Squishmallow clip. That's a jack-o'-lantern. That's for me. I love Halloween so much. If it's not Halloween, it's Easter. Like, in my house, I mean, I love pastels, so it kind of looks like Easter's going on all year round. But at Halloween, I really love Halloween. Oh my gosh. I roll out all the crap. Anyway, the piece de resistance from this trip to the Goodwill was this in-the-box Mars Attacks Blaster. Oh my gosh, I was so excited when I saw this. This was one of my favorite movies when I was a kid, the Tim Burton one. Um, I had a Martian figure that was like this big, or it seems like it could have been smaller now that I'm an adult. But um, you'd push a button on his armor and his brain would move. Um, now I have one of the action figure troopers. But I saw this, $2.99. And I looked on eBay. These things go for, like, about $30. So, I thought that was cool. I thought it would be cool for, like, my wall over here. I don't know. I just, I was super excited to see it. Very cool find. And I love that movie, so. Hard to beat, too, in the packaging. Trend Masters, I believe. Yeah, Trend Masters. When's the last time you saw a Trend Masters toy? So that was uh, my exciting find. That and the aerial sheet were definitely the top two. But my son, he really likes to go to Goodwill, my two-year-old. 
Um, I had to go to UPS twice this week because I had some Mercari sales to ship out and the Goodwill is just down from the UPS. So he started shouting Goodwill as soon as we left the UPS. So I was like, sure, we'll go again. Why not? We were just there the other day. Surely I won't find anything wrong. Um, I found him a pair of shorts because it's warming up. He needs some summer clothes. So got that. Over in the linens, I found this placemat that's just black and white. Buffalo check. I figured I could just put this under something. You know, I like to use um, things like doilies. You know, just to jazz up your decor a little bit. I don't know. I love black and white. And if it's not pastel, it's black and white. So I thought I could use this in my kitchen. Got some Beanie Babies. That I didn't have. We've got Gigi the Poodle. I love Poodles so much. Early the Robin. My son really liked this one a lot. And then we've got Chip the Calico Cat. All these have their tags, which of course I'll snip off and throw them in the wash. And before you start screaming about the value, these came from the thrift store. Their value is minimal. Okay. A couple of Webkins that I didn't have. Uh, the Chipmunk. And I think this one is just the deer. Deer. So, chipmunk and deer. Well, I thought his little neck was cut for a second. That scared me. Well, yeah. A couple of webkins that I didn't have. It was just uh, creature day, I guess. Okay, and the last thing, the big thing from this trip was this reproduction ideal robot. Robert the Robot. Um, this says 2004 Ideal Toy. Now, I think that was after Mattel acquired Ideal, so this was just released as a reproduction, and the box has a hole in it, but I thought that my 11-year-old would love this. We love watching old movies, like old sci-fi, old horror movies together. We watch Spengoolie every Saturday night on the MeTV network. Yeah, it's got a certificate of authenticity. So that's cool. This one was a little pricey. Four dollars. I don't know why I was thinking it was eight. But, um, you know, with the box and everything, I thought that was really cool. And I think my son will like it. If he doesn't, I think my dad would. So we'll see. Someone will want this. I think that's really cool. Got my my ray gun and my robot. <laughs> and then all my pastel linens. Anyway, that's everything I found for the last two weeks. I have been again this week. So I'll save that for another time because it's kind of a few things. But let me know what you liked, what you thought, if you found anything cool lately, and we'll talk about it down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.